my dad and mum. Good morning. Hello, here we are at the South African Bazaar. Now a bazaar is a place where you buy lots of things and also have lots of fun at the same time. We've got lots of stalls with people from different parts of the world. The adults are having fun and the children are having fun as well. Now I have some South African kids with me and I'm going to introduce them to you. Hello children, how are you? Fine. Good, yes, how are you? Fine. Come over here close to me. Are you going to tell me your names and how old you are? Yes. What's your name? Guichu and I'm seven years old. I mean eight. You're eight years old? Eight. Yes. What's your name? <laughs> yes, and how old are you? Uh, four years. Four years old. And what's your name? <laughs> and how old are you? Four years. Thank you. And what's your name? My name is Kate and I'm nine years old. Good. Hi, hi I'm Sarah and I'm 12 years old. Ooh, hi, I'm Lisa and I'm 10 years old. I'm Shani and I'm 10 years old. Now today we've got people from different parts of the world selling different things in their various stalls. We've got kids enjoying themselves and we even have some adults today who are going to play a rugby match. Now that's a favourite game in South Africa. Come along with us and see what's happening today. At a bazaar, there are lots of things to buy and to sell in many different stalls. At this craft stall, there are many beautiful carvings from various parts of Africa. Although it is a South African bazaar, you have craft work from Mauritania, Sierra Leone, Nigeria, Cameroon and many other African nations. From Mauritania, we have these treasure chests. The long figures are from Benin Republic. The pots and faces are crafts from Cameroon. These are made here in Nigeria. They are called shadow figures. Oh, and look at the Zaya pygmies. A talking drummer from Burkina Faso. This bronze work is called Queen of Benin. Also from here in Nigeria. The two long giraffes are from Burkina Faso as well. Mm, beautiful quilts made with African materials. Very nice. Look at those beautiful paintings on display in the art store. There are lots of handmade jewellery in the jewellery store. I am indeed. Wonderful. Can you tell us a bit about that hat you've got on? It's a South African This hat, hat is a real South African rugby hat. Ask the supporters. Although we don't play well rugby, yeah. it's one of our hats. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. There's always food for sale at a bazaar. Is this Indian or Indian cooking? South African Indian. Oh, very nice. Delicious. Delicious. Absolutely. Ooh, samosas. To die for. Uh -huh. What do you call it? Is it a different name in no, South Africa? Samosas as well. Samosas as yes. well. Oh, Buddha Bosha Rose. Yeah. Right. It's a South African meat. 
them they are making it south they buy the meat here but all the stuff the, like the um, spices are coming from South Africa right. so they quite enjoy making it. South African style yeah South African style yeah. yeah but it's quite nice and the people loves it <laughs> Yes, hello, I can see you're having fun at the South African Bazaar. Yes. Yes? What, you just bought a bag, I can bag, see. yes. Oh, that's lovely. Take home. Yeah. Tell us what you're enjoying most about the bazaar. It's just wonderful. The Nigerian stuff is just... The people just use their imaginations. And that's it's right. Stunning. Yes. It's just wonderful. I agree with you there. Thank it's you very much. It's lovely. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Some children played on the field, while others chose to have fun in the swimming pool. Jean Louis. Jean Louis, and how old are you? Nine years old. Right, what are you doing today? Are you having fun? Yeah. Tell us what you're enjoying most about today. Um all the all the free drinks. All the free drinks? Oh I didn't know you were getting free drinks. I should have come along with you, shouldn't I? <laughs> Tell us what your name is. Brent. Brent, and how old are you? Eight. Right, yeah, what are you enjoying most about the bazaar today? Uh the shops. The shops? Have you bought anything? What have you bought? I've bought a um, bus and then a man that you show up in the air and it flies. Oh, it sounds very exciting. Well, keep having fun and Kay. enjoy yourself. Okay. Bye. In the wonderful land of South Africa, there is a rainbow of races. Blacks, whites, Indians now share schools, neighborhoods, restaurants and churches. A little over 10 years ago, this was not possible because of a law separating them. Thank goodness they are now free to celebrate both their own cultures and their common bonds. And now back to the bazaar. It's a day clinic and they focus mainly on helping kids that are malnutrition, they don't get food at home. And they take the mothers and they teach the mothers how to go and shop for the food, mm -hmm. how to cook it. Mm -hmm. And then they also provide meals twice a, a week mm -hmm. for them at the clinic where they teach them how to cook it. Right. Then they give them like a posh parcel to take home with rice and I beans see. and some vegetables and right. milk. Good, yeah. Well, I hope you make a lot of sales today in yes. support of this charity. Thank you. The title of today's story is Jake and the Jungle Panic. Where's Wilfred? shouted Jake at bedtime. Wilfred was a battered bear with blue trousers and Jake's oldest possession. You will have to wait a minute, Mom shouted back. She sipped her coffee slowly. I never knew sorting out Jumble could be so exhausting. All of a sudden, Jake had that sinking feeling. He'd sorted out a big bag of Jumble too. And Wilfred had been helping. What if Wilfred had got mixed up with the unwanted books and toys? What if he'd disappeared in the dustbin sack that had been taken to the organizer? Hmm? Jake and Mom looked through every room in the house together. They came across all sorts of interesting things, but they didn't find Wilfred. Jake was in such a panic that Mom took him to the phone box in his pyjamas. I'm sorry, said the organizer. The job was already being collected and locked in the church hall. Don't worry, Mom told Jake. The job will sale is tomorrow. We'll be first there. But Mom and Jake were late. Huge roadworks held up their bus. By the time they reached the hall, it was packed. Let's start this end, said Mom. They dived into the crowd. Jake found himself by a lady selling sweaters and cardigans. Looking for Wilfred, he said. Over there, boomed cardigans. She pushed Jake towards an ancient fridge. I'm looking for Wilfred, he repeated. That's me, being a man by the fridge. I'm electrical. But I want my bear, said Jake. Oh, the bear, said Wilfred. He pointed to a lady with long hair. Jake squeezed his way across. Tickets here, cried long hair. Buy a ticket here and win this adorable teddy bear. But the bear in the raffle was bright yellow and brand new. Jake bit his lip. What is it, dear? asked another helper. It's my bear, whispered Jake. I've lost my bear. Speak up, cried the helper. He's got blue trousers, yelled Jake above the din. Just a minute. The helper swooped onto her table. Sorry, she announced. All the blue ones have gone. How about, how about this nice pink pair with blue flowers? Jake took one look and 
fled. Whoops! He crashed into mum right by the books and toys table. Jake and mum caught sight of Wilfred at exactly the same moment. That bear! They cried together and reached forwards. Sorry, said books and toys, but that bear is not for sale. Jake's face fell. Mum drew herself up. You see, went on books and toys, it must be a mistake. He was in my jumble bag, but he couldn't possibly be an unwanted bear, so I'm saving him till his owner turns up. Jake and Mum started talking at once. Books and toys smiled apologetically. You do understand, she said, that with such a special bear, I have to be sure. Books and toys bent down and whispered in Jake's ear. She'd taken a good look at Wilfred and asked Jake a question. Only Wilfred's owner could know the answer. Jake went pink but whispered back. Books and toys chuckled. He's your bear all right, she said, and handed Wilfred over. Jake didn't let Wilfred out of his sight for the rest of the day. He clutched him extra tightly at bedtime. I wish I knew what you told the books and toys lady, said Mom. Jake went pink again and snuggled down. Some things between a bear and his owner, he said, are private. <laughs> Quite right too, said mom, and kissed them both goodnight. And that's the end of our story. <laughs> what do you think the books and toys lady whispered to Jake? <coughs> Something embarrassing. Yes, that made him blush? Yes. yes.
Hello, today on Storytime with Antinoma, we get to meet Oluchi Olua, the winner of our Storytime with Antinoma comedian competition. As a result of winning that competition, she gets to perform on the night of a thousand laughs as the youngest comedian. Let's find And did you know that I said, so, 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 so sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You put them most on the board. You know I said, hip, hip, hip. Everybody shouted, hip. I'm serious. I'm serious, serious. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for all Luchi. We're going to make Zulu head dresses. Right, what do we need for our Zulu head dresses? You need a strip of cardboard paper to go around your head, like that, and some feathers. Yes, we can have colored feathers if you can lay your hands on them. You can lay your hands on feathers and dye them different colors, or out of little palm fronds, like I have here, or out of you cut out a leaf shape like this. Fold it in half and use a pair of very safe scissors or get an adult to help you and just snip. Adult helping you. That way. And there we have our paper feather. That was easy, wasn't it? Yay. Okay. So you can make your headdresses with paper feathers, palm fronts or colored quills. Right, shall we get sticking? Yes. yes. I'm a Zulu chief. I'm a Zulu chief. We are Zulu warriors. And so, from us all, on story time with Auntie Nova is bye bye. bye. that two
few hundred years ago, the Zulus were a small clan of a few hundred people, but they fought wars with similar clans to become one big Zulu nation. Today, the Zulus are an important political force in South Africa. Good morning, friends, and greet them too. Good morning, Fred. Good morning. 